For this series, Sir Ruli and Hazy Sage will start off by opening 25 packs from a sealed Founders Edition booster box. Out of those packs, they must rebuild the deck using only the given spirits. After every match, the winner and loser will spin their respected prize wheel, granting them a card, a ban, a limit, or a punishment. What's up, everybody? If you're watching this, you probably watched the last episode when I got my ass beat by Riley 2-0. Let's hope I do not lose another two matches in a row. Otherwise, I will spin the judgment wheel and I will get judged. So, I managed to spin the winner wheel off of spinning the loser wheel last round. I got a PTA, which will really turn the tides if I can draw it. It's still a one of... Don't know if I'm going to draw it. I got Leonite, and I drew him in the second game when I played Riley, but... You know, I wasn't really able to play him. Riley was able to keep tempo, control, uh, so what I'm looking for is removal, Elestral removal. Without further ado, I'm going to open this pack, see if I can do it better this time. You know, that's actually really easy to do. I don't know why I was making it so uh, difficult before. But, uh, here we go. First off, Ignector. Got Warmite. Sorry, my cat's being a menace. Albus Dumbledore. Cracked, don't need. Sluggle, don't need. Futaya, don't need. Globby, don't need. Phobia, that's a full playset. Ivory. And a Pharos, a hollow of Pharos. Oh, I got another Lycoris. Still can't really use wind. That is an awesome looking hollow. I love it. It's pretty, but unusable. So, not a very good pack opening. I guess my uh, my hope will fall in the hands of PTA. All right, uh, I'm gonna see what I can do, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build a deck for you guys, bring it to you in a little bit here. All right, so we are here, episode three, off a clean, easy peasy win on Hayden. Starting to really get things figured out with this format. I feel pretty confident with the cards that we have in comparison to what Hayden has. So I have feel pretty confident that maybe we can just bully on right ahead through these next two episodes and get into the judgment wheel. That's my hope. I really just, I kind of live to see Hayden do embarrassing things. So to get him into the judgment wheel and for you guys to finally be able to see everything that that has to offer and how scary that is, I would love nothing more than to just beat him these next two weeks and just send him straight to there. So hopefully get something in here, another earthquake, a third boom bat, anything crazy in here to help us further along, get him to the judgment wheel, I'll be very happy with. So. Set it off. Right, we've got Ignector, play set of those, play set of Warmites, play set of Crackids, we have a play set of Sluggles, Typhlant, a third shield of Achilles. Sheesh! Well, that'll help my goal. Easy peasy. Add them to it. Scavenge them. That might be. I don't know if I have a full play set of those, but I know I have a few, so that's good. Add to it. Spine him. I know we have three of. Um... Whoa. Alright, so the thing about this card, and then we got another Fire Spirit. So let's talk about these three. Shield of Achilles is amazing. By Pyro is nice, but we're not getting any more fire. Like we're not getting our Kinleos, we're not getting Valkyries. We're not, we're not propelling our way to make these Vipyros worth it, but we're building them up so much. Viscerous. Viscerous is a, probably one of the best beaters in the game. He's essential in the five guys strategy. Um, for, for those of you who don't know what Viscerous does, let me get that focused in here. Okay. 
Viscerus gains plus one attack for each Viscerus on the field. When this Viscerus destroys an Elestral in battle, you can special cast a Viscerus from your hand or deck in defense position. So, Viscerus is a four attack, but when he's uh, when he's properly enchanted on the field, he's going to have five. So that makes him automatically good. The thing that makes him over the top is when he beats someone over battle, he's going to summon out another one of them. So, this card is only good if we get more. He's maybe viable as like a one of just to have a five beater in Earth, but probably not. Like there's just probably better cards with better effects. Um, he is a five attacker, which makes me kind of want to play him just to have another five guy out. Maybe I'll play him just to have like another five attacker. I mean, we only have what we have: Sorlet, Necruff, Galaxia. He might be worth it just to have another five beater, but all of them have like a purpose beyond. Just being a five attacker like he would be the weakest out of the five attacks which might not be awful i'll have to think about it but sorlet changes the battle position necroft can burn and galaxia can also make small two a five attack as well so they all they all serve a greater purpose and viscerous would just kind of be there um so i'll think about it but i love to see it i was actually hoping for another of this art um i kind of i only had two of this art so I'm happy to have this um, because I, I actually this is my favorite art of Viscerus out of all of them. Um, the full art, it's not my favorite. Um, it kind of is hard to see. Um, I like, um, especially with like webcam tournaments, I like playing like this style card because I think it's easier to tell what card is which. Sometimes when you play with like, the full arts and stuff, they get a little like, I think it's just hard to tell. Um, so I like this. I also like it where it's easier to read the effect on there. Um, just for specifically for like webcam duels. Um, but this card is amazing. One of the best cards in the game right now. I'm so very happy to see it. If we pull another one, I will freak because that is when things will start to snowball and be really good. So happy to see it. But yeah, look forward to the duel. Let's get Hayden to the judgment wheel. What's up everybody? This is Hazy Sage. And let me tell you this week, I am scared. Riley came at me really hard last week and I came in cocky as hell. I thought I could keep the same strategy, throw in a Leonite, and I thought I'd just, you know, whoop his ass, but he beat me 2-0. So, I made a couple changes in my deck and I don't have a lot of cards that are useful against a deck like his. So, without further ado, I have one Boom Bat, my only one available. 2S Rabbit. I'm running to spark it in this deck. I only have three Thunder Spirits, and I'm going to utilize those to my the best of my ability. Um, if I can rip a couple hand removal cards out of his hand, and I'm able to see his hand, I think that will mean everything. And Riley, I know, is not running spark it, and I can use some misenchanting strategies to make him useful. I just the three spirits is where I can only use this effect once, and I'm hoping I can use it two times in a game. For the other spirits, two Rummagem, two Equilinx, three Tectoris. I have my Consistency, I have my Beater, I have my Rune Removal just in case. I know he's got a couple counter runes, and if he sets those suckers down, I'm going to keep my Echolinks in my hand this time, and I'm going to save that for when he has runes instead of using him as a beater. Uh, for my fire package, I have two small Tuga, I have one Leonite, three Necrov, and here's where I made a switch. I'm playing three Erskow, and I'm playing three Ignector. My hope is that Erskow will get rid of some of his, some of his removal, and... It will allow me to have a monster or an Elestral the next turn in case I have Leonite. I have three Ignector so I can go wide. My hope is that I can keep enough pressure on the board. You know, this is a monster that's not very strong, but it is an Elestral that he has to take out nonetheless. So, that is where my strategy comes in. And to complete this massive 24 Elestral package, I have... 16 runes starting off with five stadium runes here we go two volcanic forge i only have six fire spirits i have way more earth so this time i took one out and put in three folio forest my hope is not really to use 
these uh, volcanic forges for fire, but have them just in case. But my main strategy for those volcanic forges will be to misenchant with a thunder. So if I have able, if any one of these I can use with a thunder, and if I draw a spark it, I have an automatic rip from hand and I get to see his hand. So that is my hope. I have one Sharon's Oval, one Nectar of the Gods, one Shield of Achilles, two Helios Chariot Rides in case I can come at him with one big attack. Tsunami, Poison Tip Arrow, that's my baby. The newcomer of the squad. Poison Tipped Arrow, if I can draw that card, that could be a game changer. Two Golden Apple of Discord, and last but not least, two Drops of Leaf. Those are most of my runes. Let's hope I draw some more, so. Let's go for Earth. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Tarratlas. One, two, three, four, five, six Papyro. One, two, three Zapter. One and two Leviathan. There we go, that's my deck. Um, I gotta work with what I got, right? So. I have four wind spirits, or no, I think I have six wind spirits, something like that. So if I can somehow make wind work, um, eventually I could really um, make a nice deck out of that. But for now, I think this is the best I have. Um, but this week I decided to make a side deck. Last week it could have proved very, very useful. And, uh, you know, I don't know how, just how useful the side deck is, but I... Um, for what I have in this deck, I made it to the best of my ability, and a uh, little bit of there's a little bit of meme deck in there too. So we'll see. My hope is that I can try and burn him with Waspire. So if I can get, we'll see. Right. I've got one more Spark it. I've got two Valkyries in case I need to run another Beater. I've got two Spin Imp in case I'm running too much Fire and I need to throw in some more Earth. And that's just a big booty. You know, he's got an awesome effect when he's destroyed. It could also be a... a uh, this could be a taunting piece for his removal that he keeps in hand. Three Kinleo just in case I need more removal, but the card's not proving very useful. One Sorlet and two Lycris so I can use the Sorlet. Two Clovey in case I want another big booty, plus my Folio Forest brings him up to five, and I get to draw a card. Uh, one more Sharon Zobel in case I just need another room. There we have it, guys. Um, I'm not too confident about this week, but, you know, I keep telling myself I'm going to stay smart with this one. i got to be conscientious of every single move, and... I got to play smart. That's it. Um, thanks for watching, y'all. Look forward to this next duel, and hopefully I can get something awesome off the wheel. Welcome back. Episode 3 of the Eternal Showdown series. We are bringing something a little spicy. So we pulled the Viscerous in the pack opening for this week, but we have decided not to play it. Decided not to play it because... One, right now, Earth is not the best element for me to be playing, given what Hayden has. I don't know if he's bringing it necessarily today, but even so, it just doesn't really benefit the deck, even though it is a 5-drop. Um, it's only a 5-drop if it's enchanted by Earth, so like misenchanting it doesn't really do much. And having just a generic 5-attacker with all these other 5-attackers that actually have benefits from being chanted correctly, it just doesn't work yet, but if we get multiples, it's going in immediately. So... Look, looking forward to it if we can get multiples, but for now, it's uh, it's just going to remain um, in the in the collection. So, as you can see, the top card we have on there today is Krakatuga. Um, I do have two of these, and my reasoning behind playing that is um, I kind of want to just see how it goes game one, see how Hayden still doesn't have a lot of removal, so I'm kind of going on like a aggressive credit Krakatuga strategy where if I can get Krakatuga out with a card like Galaxia he becomes a nine attack instead of a four attack and he can expend two fires and pulling another fire spirit is kind of what inspired me to play this because we now have seven so I could bring him out and activate his effect a total of three times if I wanted to probably not going to activate that many times this is going to be more of like a playing like my original deck but then going late game strategy for Krakatuga to kind of just with 
wither him down and win the game that way. But I wanted to try it for game one and see if it's a possibility to surprise him, do something that he's not ready for. Um, I'm not playing eruptions to go with his second effect um, for two reasons. One, we don't have enough fires to facilitate it, but also he plays fire. So if he has a fire up on the field, it just makes my rush eruptions even worse. So there's no point in trying to make it work. I'd rather it be like another five attacker. I'd rather eruption just be any other card trying to get over it. But I like that Krakatuga's effect can be used and it doesn't matter if he has a fire or not. So we pulled two Krakatuga, so we are going to play two of them. Um, and then we're going to be playing a pretty much a heavy water and fire package for game one. Um, so we're playing three small Tuga, search for any fire, um, three Galaxia, um, switch the attack stats, uh, attack and defense stats. So that makes small Tuga five. That's going to make Krakatuga nine attack. Um, so this, this is the main right here kind of like set up where we're trying to get these Galaxia paired with either one of these burn with Krakatuga, continue to attack over. Um, that sort of thing. Um, we are going to try the the foamy stat in the main deck for this um, strategy, just because we are playing Krakatuga. Foamy let, um, lets us stick a monster on the field after he's gone to battle. So when foamy is destroyed by battle, I can special cast Celestial with enchanting cost one water um, from my deck in defense position, and it doesn't have to be a water spirit it's enchanted with. Say I only have one water with, I bring a foamy out, I have Krakatuga in my hand. He attacks over i could bring out a water with a fire on it and um well i guess that wouldn't really work because i still need a water for Krakatuga. but there's different ways to uh, make it work but to kind of supplement the low water count um, i am playing the one sluggle to um to bring out with foamy so say if i go through the full foamy line he's got a few guys on the field he goes foamy 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 the last card i bring out is sluggle sluggle brings back all those waters um so that i think that'll be a nice little tech in there and then i'm playing the one mustation um, similar reason to play these. He's a six attack that can be flipped by Galaxia, but also on his own. If he's got a five attacker and I have no other outs to it, I can just flip the attack of Mustation and um, try to get in for uh, to beat over a five attacker. So Mustation and also just like the six butt too. Um, I could slap a fire on him um, and wait for Krakatuga or different stuff like that too. So he's just a good card overall. Um, and then the one Tsunami and I am playing one Atlantis. Um, just to further help facilitate the water strategy, you could bring my five attackers to pro possibly like six attack and just help them become even better than they already are, especially with him playing Volcanic Forge and Foloi Forest. Um, for my fire package, I'm playing three Warmite, um, just because well, I feel like Warmite put in work in the last match, being able to minus four and attack just with cards like neck rough and stuff like that. It's just really important to uh, be able to beat over them and keep the tempo um, in my favor. Now I'm playing the three neck rough, um, just another five guy to just all around good card, especially in our format. That burn effect does come in handy as well as just being a five attack is very useful. Um, but that's it for fire. Trying not to run too much of it because of running um, Krakatuga. I want to, I want to um, save the fires for for um for Krakatuga's effect so I'm trying to hold on to them till the very end and then use kind of the rest of my deck um waters and such um to wait to get to Krakatuga but so Necroft may be misenchanted at times um but War might I would be willing to sacrifice one or two to either bring out a um one Necroft and one War might or two War mites to be able to out cards and then if I bring out a Crack a two guys still can activate it two times, burning him for six, um, which is still good enough. I don't need to burn him. I probably won't ever burn him all three times, so I don't mind using two of the fire spirits um, to bring them out. But next is going to be the Thunder Package, which I upped a little bit, kind of inspired by cards that Hayden played last time. Um, I think it's good. I think it brings more utility um, to the deck. But I'm going to be playing two Jolton to add um, the Stadium runes to my deck. So I put in the one Atlantis, and that's why I'm only playing one. Um, bringing in the one Atlantis to kind of uh, buff my guys up, but I'm also playing some other ones that I'll get to, but I'm also, I'm still playing the two Astravit, two Boombat, um, but I am playing one Mount Olympus. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm playing the one Mount Olympus is, if I, if I search the Mount Olympus with Jolton, I can either uh, bring out Mount, Olymp Mount Olympus properly enchanted, bring Bolt Jolton up to a five, which makes him another five guy, 
or I, if I decide that, say he's got an Ash Rabbit on the field, but he's got like a Volcanic Forge, I can still just misenchant uh, Mount Olympus and um, still take his off the field without boosting up his Ash Rabbit um, at all. But I'd probably, it's mainly in here to either boost up Ash Rabbit's defense to six, like my own Ash Rabbit, or boost, Jol boost Jolton up to five, um, or just misenchant to get a, his stadium off the field so he doesn't go for any ne Nexusing plays or anything like that. Um, my win package is significantly smaller because I had to make room for all of the fire for Krakatuga. But pretty much I'm just playing the three Sorlet and the one Island of Aeolia. Um, I don't know how I feel about playing the one Island of Aeolia with only three Sorlet, but I can always misenchant like a Necrop with wind with the Island of Aeolia and get him to six. So um, I just wanted to add the stadium runes of the cards that I know that he's not going to really benefit from but this might be one because he's probably playing three sword as well so i don't know i'm not sold on this one this one will probably come out in the side deck but i just want to try it out um having that utility with jolton to be able to search um i think is extremely beneficial but that's all the wins that we're playing um the earth package went down just slightly too so we're only playing the two earthquake i just had to take out pandison um i just needed to make room for the fires so that's what happened with that um, two drops of Leith, and now three Shield of Achilles, and the best card in our deck, the one Ambrosia. Um, I don't think he's going to be ready for three Shield of Achilles, so having three of those, I think, puts us in a major advantage. That brings us up to four counter runes that can impact the game. Um, so I think it's looking really great. Um, I hope the Krakatuga strategy doesn't come to bite me in the butt, but um, it's mainly here for game one, and then... With game two, my plan is to kind of go back. Um, I have all the wind spirits um, still in here with the Chrysor, um, the one Terratlas, one Zapter, um, Atlantis, in case I want to go back to. Pretty much it's just whatever I had last week, the Aeromares. Um, I didn't put in Pegus because I feel like he doesn't have enough back row. I know he got PTA on the wheel, but it, I, I think it's just better to play another, like more five attackers. And force him to use the PTA, then pop it with the Pegus. Because if I summon, if I bring out Pegus and he PTAs my Pegus, like he's he's gonna PTA one of my five attackers. And in most situations, I'd rather not play Pegus based off of like two cards that he has. Because every other counter rune that I've seen him been playing, I'm not really too worried about. Um, but pretty much, I'm just have a, I'm planning on going back to the deck that I had uh, last week with the Aeromares, the Chrysor, the Pandasins for the extra. Um, for the extra earthquake effect or um, ambrosia or any of my invoke rooms, just kind of uh, going back to it um, to kind of keep him on his toes. But I'm hoping Krakatuga for the first game can catch him off guard. Um, so yeah, that's the deck. I feel pretty good about it. I think Krakatuga can put in work, um, but we'll have to wait and see. See you. Episode 3! Welcome <laughs> to the Eternal Showdown series! Yeah, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Yep. Got a better camera this time for the mat. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can actually see what's going on. Right. 16? Six. Ugh. I'm gonna go first. Whoa. Things have changed. I am going to choose not to mulligan. Okay. Um, I also choose not to mulligan. Okay. I'm going to put two face down. Whoa. Yep. I'm going to start out with an Ash Rabbit. Lame. What's that? Lame. Lame? Oh, yeah. Lame. Best card <laughs> in the game. I draw yeah. three. I look. And I... Hayden has evolved into an anime character for this episode. <laughs> for <everyone> who's wondering. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll take as one. We, as we evolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, become I'll take more one. animated and less human <laughs> <laughs> for your entertainment. Uh, 
<laughs> All right, um, I pass to you. You can go. All right, I will drop a turn. Okay. I will use a win. <clears throat> Bring out Sorlet. I will expend the wind to activate Sorlet's effect. Okay. And switch your Astrabbit to attack. Okay. And I will attempt to attack over your Astrabbit. Okay. I'm going to shield your Sorlet. Okay. Too early. And then it's your move. Okay. Draw. Okay. Play is after. Okay. Spark it. You did not. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um,. I'm gonna siphon off of Astravit. Okay. And I will look at your hand. Yep. Oh, yeah. Let me see what you got. Mm hmm. Okay. Oof. Oof. Yikes. You can take that earthquake out of there. Uh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> dude, oh, my God. Let's go. I can't believe you're playing this shit. Yeah, sir. Okay, and careful. with that play... Remember to be careful with your hand, Hayden. I'm going to attack you for two. Okay. Dude, that's oh, such that's a big a, play. That's like at least two Earth. All right. And... Not using them for that Earthquake. <laughs> All right, you can go. All right. Uh, Vipyra. Okay. And Necra. Okay. I will... I will it. I'm gonna poison tip the arrow your Necro. You've gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. No! <laughs> <laughs> um... Alright. Well, I will end my turn. Okay, I wanna expend the Fire Spirit with the Tyrallis to destroy your Necro. Okay, well, your turn. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Can't believe you got fucking spark it out in the field, bro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm going to summon small two gun and I'm going to search for a fire. Got it. I'm going to take out Necro. And then I will use spark its effect. To Nexus and to Smoltuga. You suck. And I will look at your hand again. You got it. Oh, you got another Necro. Yikes! What's that? Krakatuga. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hmm. hmm. Thing is, is like I can probably withstand any card that you pulled out. So, like, I'm gonna take out your Sorlet. Okay, then I'm gonna attack you for three, and you can go. Careful with your hand, hey? Okay, thanks. For three. Okay. 
to buy Pyro. Bring out Necro. Okay. And I'll attack over Smaltuga. Smaltuga? Yeah. Really? Yeah, and you can expend one. Okay. Me down to 12. Your move. Put one card face down. I'm going to misenchant. Okay. A folio forest with a zapter. <laughs> Nexus, onto Spark It. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to rip out Galaxia. Wasn't ready for that one. Yeah. I'm sure you weren't. <laughs> and then... I'll summon out a... Necro. Okay. I'm gonna use Necro to attack over yours. We'll both lose one, and then I'll attack you with Spark It for two. Any spirits are you at? Five, eight. Okay. Alright, I'm going to bring out a Leviathan. Okay. I'll bring out a Foamy. Okay. I'm going to put that face down, you can go. What'd you just do? Put Atlantis face down in my stadium. Oh, that's right, you can do that. Yeah. Okay. So if I play a stadium, it destroys it, right? Yep. Okay. But you can't rip it out of my hand. Correct. It's giving you less options. If I want to rip something out of your hand. Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, my turn? Yep. Draw. Oof. Okay, so I'm going to... Misenchant. Miss Stravit. Good place to do holy shit, yeah. I'm gonna use Spark It's Effect. Do next assign to a Strabit. I get to rip a okay. card out and I get to draw three. Or look at my top three. So I will take out your Krakatuga. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna use Spark It to attack over your Foamy. Okay. And then I will use Foamy's effect. Okay. I'll bring out a Sluggle. Okay. Good Sluggle play. effect. Good play. My turn? Yep. I'll drop my turn. Right, I'm going to ascend Sluggle. You drew him? Oh, Crack wow. Tuga? You drew him. Okay. I did. That's crazy. 
Nice play. Right. Thank you. I'm going to... How many spirits are you at? Eight. Eight. Okay. I'm going to enchant Atlantis. Okay, level five. Then I will use his effect to expend two fire and burning for three. Okay. Okay. And I will use Krakatuga and hit over a spell. Okay, and that'll give me two one damage. Then you'll exp Yep. Okay. Good plays, good plays, bro. Thank you. Then it'll be your move. He's at five attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Take Taurus. So it's just Travis to attack. Okay. I am going to crash into your Smoltuga. Or your whatever. Mm -hmm. So that means I expend one, right? Yep. Okay. I'll use a Stravit to attack you for two. Toxia and starter deck exclusive. Yep. Figured. Man, that would have been nice. Yeah, it would have. I'll use a Zapter or bring out a Jolton. Okay. I'll use Jolton's effect. Yep. Mount Olympus. Yeah, okay. I can't believe you freaking would... top deck that. Yeah, dude. Krakatuka top deck. I was like, oh, okay. It's <laughs> like, okay, game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it kind of bailed me out because your your play to use the misenchant the um, stadium, I never even thought about it. Like, it was completely at the back of my mind to be able to do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so that just kept, like, the spark in alive way longer than I was, like, preparing for. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, I will attack over your ass rabbit. Wow. Okay. And it's your turn. Oh. I'm going to misenchant a small Tuga with a fire and defense mod. Okay. That leaves me at one spirit. I want to pass it to you. I will use a water and bring out small tuga of my own. I need a small tuga effect. Okay. Okay. And you can go. Set one, I'm gonna pass. So I feel like whoever gets altered in the stars is gonna be like just fucking celebrating. Yeah, for real. That's Any nice. of those really powerful cards. Yeah. Alright. Uh Leviathan. Okay. I will bring out Necroft. Okay. Necroft will be at six attack because of Atlantis. Nice. Um I will switch Small Tuga to attack. Okay. And I will use Necroft to attack over Small Tuga. Sounds good. That's gonna be game, bro. Nice, dude. Wow, I thought you for sure had me. Yeah, man, I was feeling I was confident in the beginning. 
Oof. That top tech, dude. That top tech crack a dude. I felt. I yeah. saw it. and I was like, oh. Dude, that was thank the God. only reason you won that. Yeah. No, one hundred percent, dude. Like I, I ripped him out of your hand so you can fucking special ascend, and then you yeah. top deck him. You, I know you only have two of those fuckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. That sluggo play was nice too. Stop. Yeah, the sluggo play was uh, very helpful also obviously yeah that's oh my gosh yeah that's so good dude yeah. honestly when you pulled out the sluggle i was a bit worried because i was like yeah. oh man if he draws an ambrosia i'm completely screwed like mm -hmm. oh. but you know that's the way the cookie crumbles mm -hmm. all right uh did you side deck this time i do have a side deck yes all right i'm side decking Alright, uh, you choose. It's my choose, my turn. I go first. Alright. Alright, round two. <laughs> one O'Reilly. Great game one. Um, let's see. I will choose two. Hmm. Are you mulliganing? Nope. No. Nope. Okay, with your hand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am going to I'm gonna go first. Okay. And I'm not gonna mulligan. I already said I was gonna go first. Um so with that, I will start out with and Hayden, and Hayden, and Hayden. I will start out with a <laughs> uh, Ursko in defense position. You're not. I did my plan. You're not. I did you're my not. plan. No, you're not. Oh, oh Hayden. Oh no, Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Right. I think I see. Where, I think I see where your head's at with it. I think I see. All right, so I'm gonna start it's off not... with uh, Golden Apple of Discord, and <laughs> oh I am going God. to take out drops of leaf from my hand to discard a random card from your hand. Oh my God! What are you playing? All right, and that one closest to your spirit deck, I'm gonna rip out. This one? Yep. Ask Rabbit. Good hit. Okay. Not really what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Uh, what do you mean? It's the best card of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, so, I will then pass it to you. Oh, you have to mill three. Mill two. Mill two. Boom bat. Air mare. Okay. I'll take the boom bat. All right. I'll draw. Yep. Uh, Earth Scout is the one that when it's destroyed by battle summons one? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna put one face down. I'm going to use a Vipyro. Okay. I'll bring out Necro. Okay. And I'll hit over your Burr okay. and then force you to expend one. I'll expend one first and then I'm gonna um, effect? Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Only thing I can guess is some sort of Leonite something or another. That'd be my, my guess. Earth Scout floating to Earth Scout. Keep a fire on your field. Try to get Leonite out. Who knows, bro? That's my guess. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. I draw. I got a chant in, though. I'm going to use another fire. Okay. okay. It's my turn. Your turn. I will. Oh, 
Okay, I feel like I'm forced to do this. I'm gonna use two Turatlas, I'm gonna play Nectar of the Gods. Alright. Good play. Yeah. I'm in the spirits already. Though. That's my two. Alright. Okay. Bet you wish you had a Ambrosia, huh? Shut up. <laughs> 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 would be nice, man. Would be nice, would be nice. Okay, I'm gonna summon my own Necro, switch Urscout to attack, and I'll crash. We'll both lose one, and then I'll hit you for one with Urscout once you got a rune. I do have a rune. Okay. It's your turn. All right. I'll draw. Okay. I'll use a win. Okay. Bring out Aramir. Okay. Um, I will hit over the bear. Necro? Yep, so you expend one. Okay. And then I will mm -hmm. use Aramir to. When you. Yeah, you can summon him out and then I will attack over Necro with, uh, with Aramir. Okay. Um. I'm gonna opt not to use this effect. Okay. And yeah, go attack over. Go. My turn. Your turn. Your turn. I feel like I'm forced to do this again. Ooh, this is not what I want to see. Stop it's not looking too hot for you. All three of my draw cards have drawn this game. Oh. Yeah. You never want to see that. Yeah. That's rough. What are you putting back? Ignector and Volcanic Forge. Oof. Oof. Yeah. I thought you saw... You said you saw all three. I discarded my drop first drops of Leaf. Mm, okay. And then I drew Nectar of the Gods and now this drops of Leaf. Oh, so yeah, you're definitely, with that Nectar, dude, you gotta be trying to get your Leonite. That's what your goal is. Yeah. Just trying to freaking get Leonite out by keeping a fire on the field. I added some more cards, or I added another uh, two power, and uh, oh. so like to, to increase that capability. But yeah, I did not see them though. Nothing. I draw three cards. Okay. Yeah, nothing, bro. Oof. Sucks. Bottom, bottom, bum, bum. <laughs> I guess I'll just, uh. Ugh. Dude, this is terrible. And Hayden. Spark it. Polio Forest. Okay. And the Nexus on to spark it. Okay. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. I'll rip out your. Uh, your sword. I'm gonna crash into Aramir. He'll take one damage. That'd be my turn. I, I will drop the turn. Okay. okay and I'm going to use eight. Zapter. I'll bring out Jolton. Okay. I'm 
going to grab an island of Aeolia. Then I will hit you for two. Let's do it on the six. And your move. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Air scout. Defense, I'll pass through. Okay. Yeah. Bro, we might as well scoop this. Yeah, dude, There's I don't see it do. happening for you. Yeah. Man, I bricked this game. Holy shit. Alright, what are you playing? Can I see your deck? I need to know what you're up to that second game, because whatever it is, what other second drop could you have? Like Krakatuga, maybe? I included maybe. Ignector in here because I threw in Waspire. Can I, what does Waspire do? Waspire is you can disenchant <clears throat> from Waspire, or you can disenchant from Ignector on your field, and your opponent must burn two, and you can repeat that as many times as you want, I'm pretty sure. Mm. So you can um, yeah. destroy your... So, like, I could... If I had three Ignectors out, right, and somehow I Tsunami your attack, so I keep them out until my next turn, mm -hmm. the only thing with Ignector is if you summon all three of them, or if you use its effect, you can't perform your battle phase that turn. Right. So if I were to able to keep them out, I can ascend one of them into Waspire, and then I can destroy two of my Ignectors, forcing you to burn four. Mm. So, and he's a five one. So yeah, my hope is that I can, if I can like get him out, that'd be nice. And if anything, I have Ignectors out for a Leonite summon. And then Earth Scout is to keep my fire presence. And I was hoping to go try and go wide on you this time. All right. All right. Second in a row. Aiden in the loser wheel, me in the winner. Yep. We'll, we'll start off with, you know, me. <laughs> the winner. The winner. See what I get. <laughs> ah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um. Hey, weren't you supposed to spin it twice? Wait, I'm supposed to spin it twice. Yeah, I spin it twice. Okay, so you have one pass, and now you get to... You, no, you just get to spin it twice now. Yeah, so I so I got to spin twice last Yeah, so week. now you get to spin it twice. <laughs> yeah, so that's, does that mean next time I win two, I get to spin it twice No, I, I mean, I guess it's whatever you and I decide, but... Should we just do it if you roll, if you get this after spinning twice, like you just like re-roll? Like it's just like keep going until you get something twice instead of this? Um, so like I got it last time. I'm supposed to. Do spin you twice have a spin time. again one, or is that the only one that's like similar to that? Here, let me. Because if you have a spin again, then no. But if you don't, then yes. Spin again. Spin again. Okay. Yeah. So, so then I. So then I would. I would spin it twice next week too. Then. Well, that's what I'm way. thinking is that it's saying next time. So technically, mm. you have another spin now. Oh, so it's like next time I'd spin it twice, I'm spinning it right now, so I'd spin it two more times. Yes, today. now you spin it two okay. more times. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah. Shoot. No. <laughs> no! Oh, man, this is going to hurt. <laughs> Oh, we just give me more removal, dude. Oh, just man. I'm just fucking putting my boot to your throat, sending you straight to the fucking yeah, straight to know. the judgment wheel, dude. Yes. Hey, this at this point, it's fucking like the wheel and destiny's fault, dude. You can't even blame me. No, I can't. But you know what? <laughs> hey, when Frostfall comes around, man, I'm gonna be. I it will be a G in the ESS. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
All right. <clears throat> Spin it again. Give me more. Give me another one. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? On the other side of things. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how long are you want to do this series for, man? Oh man! <laughs> Come on, bring them to me. Show me what I got. All right. All right. Oh man! One second. What happened, bro? <laughs> oh. <sighs> You know, the first time, the first take on the series once it's gone this way. It was looking pretty nice for me. <laughs> yeah, you were looking great. Yeah. I was you got like, fantastic, you got a ho- bro. Hephaestus, full fire pool, just like you were doing great. And now, now you're here. All right, Hayden. <laughs> now I'm here. All right, give me three clicks. <laughs> three clicks coming your way. Yup, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, all that's right, That's what I'm talking right. about. Uh-huh. Okay, you deserve it, you deserve it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, there's there's still punishments on here, too. Yeah. All right, three again? Yep. Come on, give me a Toxion. Does that apply to the judgment wheel? No, there's the punishment wheel and there's the judgment wheel. The All right, judgment well, that wheel is like in order. Doesn't mean anything, man. Because <laughs> like on the loser wheel, there's like spin the general punishment wheel. So the next time you spin that, you don't have to do it. Okay. So. <laughs> Anti climax. <laughs> 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 Dude, you know what we should do? Wow. Thought. I hope I get a Thought. fucking god pack. Thought. Thought. So in um in the progression series, in CMOS progression series, they have these things called redoer tickets. They use them for pack openings, but they have like infinite packs because they open up on the website. Yeah. We should do we could do spin again tickets each season. Okay. Like three, like three spin again tickets. Whether you're on the loser wheel, yeah, like totally. Point. Let's implement that. Okay. Um, do we need? So I don't we can know. use them. Can we do that now? Yeah, we can do it now. All right. Like we'll, just we'll just I'm cut. We'll just cut. Yeah, we'll just cut. What? So we're gonna go. So I'll let you use it on the winner wheel. Okay. Yeah, we can use it for any wheel we want. Yeah. Anytime you spin, Except if you want to spin again, but we'll have a counter. Wheel. No, even judgment wheel. You're okay with that? I'm okay with that. If you're okay with it. Yeah. Okay. I don't care. Hayden, spin again. Let's go. All Three right, clicks. Spin again. All right. We. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Bro. Spin again. <laughs> <laughs> if you land on a card, get three copies of it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. You. How oh, many clicks, shit. dude? How many clicks? <laughs> Bro, this could be massive. Three clicks. This could be huge. All right. Three clicks. Oh my god. Thunder Spirit. <laughs> Dude, why does it keep on landing on these? It's, I swear to god, this shit is fun. There's up. so many cards. <laughs> There's so many cards. <laughs> Your chances for very low. The spin DCG again? gods are not with me right now. Do you want to spin again? I can't. Yep. Why not? Yeah, well, technically, It'd I be like can this. use it, right? So you have three. All right, you I'm going to use it one, one more time. You might as well when yep. it's on this. Yeah, this is a genius okay. time to use it. I'm a genius okay. right now. You're a genius. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to see it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll use it again if you don't get another oh, card, dude. <laughs> You're a genius, dude. Dude, I, I, I know, I know you. I don't. I know you don't. You feel weird about that, but let me tell. Let me. Let me try to convince you why this is a good thing. This could be nice. Because Hephaestus, at minimum, you can still misenchant him for an easy way to uh, um, get your like equal links or nexus or like like spark it like he can still have one spirit on him that does so it's another like field spell in that regard that can help you with nexusing as well as you can actually enchant him to get like bag of winds is good against me like it, for like invokers and stuff like that but also if you go heavy on fire with the kid leo this is way way better now that you have three of these yeah that's true so i mean this so now you're asking the wheel has given back in a major way uh, last time you only had one of Festus, so this time you have three now. Yeah. It is. It is a good. It's a good thing to have three divine runes when I have zero. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button. Make sure you leave a comment below. Are you Team Riley or Team Hayden? See you next time.